Welcome back to Oh My Pod, the podcast that teaches you how to automate and grow your podcast. My name, as always, is Justin J. Moore, and I help coaches and entrepreneurs launch podcasts that only take one hour a week to manage. And today I wanted to do a really short episode to address a couple of questions that I get asked all the time about podcasting. And a lot of times I think that people are putting a bit too much thought and a bit too much emphasis on this, but I wanted to address them anyways. The first one is, number one, how frequently or infrequently should I publish episodes? And number two, how long should my episodes be? So let's start with number one. How frequently should you be publishing podcast episodes? So let's first discuss the options of publishing frequency. So there's number one, daily, kind of insane. Number two, biweekly or just multiple times, or sorry, twice a week or multiple times a week, two, three times per week. Weekly, biweekly, so every two weeks, monthly, and then like ad hoc, like whenever you want. So I want to start backwards and start from the last thing that I just said. So the first thing, a lot of people say that, you know, they want to start a podcast and they're just going to release episodes whenever it kind of suits them. And the re- first of all, I just want to say that I, I think that that is not advisable, not a good idea. I don't think this works for the majority of people unless you already have a big audience or have some type of name that allows you to follow this type of schedule where people always just kind of listen to whatever you put out there. But for most people, what's going to happen when you publish episodes kind of willy nilly all over the place is you're not going to be able to hold a routine place in someone's mind. And that's the whole game of podcasting and building an audience is like, you want to be able to hold a place like weekly in their routines that they continue to keep coming back. You don't want to have to remind them every single time that there's a podcast episode coming out. You want them to be waiting for it each week. And in order for you to set up that kind of relationship with a listener, if you're just putting episodes out whenever you want, you're never going to really get that. So that's the first one. The next one would be like monthly and even monthly. I think is terrible for the majority of people. I think that in internet world, and even just world in general, having a show that only puts out one episode per month, it's like, if you think about it from a listener perspective, it's like you're going to commit to a podcast and then the podcast is only going to release 12 episodes per year. So you probably won't want to commit to that podcast because it's going to be painful when you have to wait so long for a new episode. So monthly is something that I really would recommend. I think there's ways, again, that people can make it work, but by and large, let's just kind of cross that off. Bi-weekly, I think you're seeing the pattern here. It's the same, it's like the middle space between weekly and monthly. And again, it's just not ideal. Like if you're gonna podcast, you've already set the whole show up, you've already figured out the way that you're gonna produce episodes and all these things, like just go the extra mile to produce twice as many episodes because it's going to make a massive difference. You need to show up consistently for these people. And bi-weekly means you're only putting out 24 episodes an entire year. Like that's not a lot of content for people to consume. That's not a lot of content to actually allow time to build fans. And so the next part would be weekly, or the next logical frequency. Weekly, I don't think you can go wrong. This is what TV shows do. This is what you know, like featured radio shows would do. Obviously, like every single week, same day every week, people get used to this and they are expecting the content that allows them to build that connection with you. Because the whole thing about podcasting is you're trying to convince a listener to make that commitment, make that jump of like, okay, you know what? This is a new show that I'm going to take seriously. And in order for them to make that, like it's just good to, to give them enough proof that you're going to stick around, that you're going to show up consistently. The next thing is twice per week. Now, a lot of people in the podcast space, a lot of big podcasters are already doing this. And a lot of podcast coaches and consultants, experts, whatever, are all preaching publishing episodes twice per week. And if you think about it, logically, if you're publishing episodes weekly, then you can get twice as many downloads by publishing twice per week. So if you have the capacity to put out twice per week episodes, then, you know, you'll get twice as many downloads, essentially. And your show will also grow faster because you have more content coming out. You have more opportunities to share new titles and headlines that attract new people and all that stuff. The next one would be like daily and very few people, I think, can make daily work. 
You need a real team behind you to make this happen. I mean, just promoting every single episode, putting it out there, getting all the content together and everything. I think daily would only work if you sat down for, you know, one day a week and did like short five minute episodes. And episode length has a big, you know, takes a big uh, part of this as well. Because if you're talking about doing weekly or twice a week, the length of your episodes is going to affect that because, you know, two episodes a week when they're each 10 minutes, it's not that big a deal. But two episodes a week when they're each 45 minutes becomes a ton of time. So episode length. Now, this is obviously for like the beginner podcaster, because I think a lot of people who have been producing episodes for a while now, they kind of understand how the length of an episode kind of flows naturally. But this will be for, you know, somebody who's just starting out is really just not understanding or is not in the space where they have the experience to know yet. So for length, again, let's just think about it logically. So your podcast episode length should kind of just be as long as you need it to be to get your information out there. So when you do a solo episode, odds are it's going to be a bit shorter. There's no fluff. There's no introductions. There's no backstory stuff. It's just you and the microphone. The average length of a solo episode for me, for a lot of other people who do solo episodes, it's like 20 minutes. You know, it's a focused episode about a specific topic, a specific question, tackling a specific problem. So like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Great. Interviews, on the other hand, usually between 30 minutes to an hour. This gives people the time to express, you know, different ideas and and have the conversation go back and forth. Now, for me, when I listen to a podcast, I actually prefer longer episodes. This is because if you think about it, I mean, I if I'm going to the gym and I'm going to be working out for an hour, I would rather have one episode that I'm going to listen to for the entire time rather than have to play multiple short episodes. However, when I am, you know, driving somewhere or I'm looking through an episode that I want to listen to, I am usually more inclined to listen to a solo episode because I know that they are shorter, more actionable, and I'm going to learn something like concrete from that episode right away. So I guess the takeaway there would be like, your podcast episodes should just be as long as they need to be. And no longer than that. But you shouldn't be artificially shortening the length of episodes because you think that a specific length is going to be like the main thing that moves the needle on your show. I think frequency of publishing is way more important than the length of episodes. I mean, at the end of the day, you are trying to build a show that's unique to you where the audience comes because they like your style and they like your mind and your ideas. So are you really going to like artificially shorten or lengthen a podcast episode because, you know, you think that it's going to give you some better like SEO or some better at the end, it it needs to be exactly what you want it to be. So this is kind of like a small picture thing. You know, the length of episodes, I, I really encourage people honestly to not think about it too much. But anyways, that is, that's it for this. I just wanted to come on here. I felt the need to come on here and address this and hope this was valuable. So we pretty much figured out that there's a bunch of different frequencies that you can publish. I'd say the weekly is the easiest to, to do while still being really, really effective. Anything uh, less than weekly is just not enough content, in my opinion. And twice a week is apparently optimal, but becomes more difficult to put together. And then length of episodes, I mean, an episode should just be as long as it needs to be. Solo episodes, I usually end up around 20 minutes. Interviews, I end up around 45 to an hour. And as a listener, I prefer longer episodes for certain occasions, but I also like short episodes for other occasions. (laughs) So... (laughs) Maybe I'm a complicated listener. Anyways, hope this was valuable. And if you want more trainings like this, more, you know, coaching and resources and 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 stuff about podcasting to just get immersed in the space, I highly encourage you to join my free community. I put my heart and soul into it. It's on a new ish platform called school. It's really personal and we give a lot of one on one attention to every single person in there. There's group coaching and everything. So please would love to see you in there. It's totally free. I just want to meet people. I want to build an audience there. So that's it. Thanks for listening.